Here's a look at the Shimano M4100 mountain bike trigger shifter for the rear derailleur. Rear derailleur is listed as 10 and 11 speed. However, this shifter is only labeled for 10 speed for trail riding or cross country riding. I'm always curious what you get with the shift lever because each company may or may not provide housing, shift cable, etc. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside here. Looks like we have the shifter itself right here. Oh, and also connected is some cable. Also included looks like some housing, which is excellent. And then we have these ferrules also along with a cable end stopper. And Shimano saying scan the QR code to go ahead and download the user's manual. And that's right there. There's not much more safety information than on a normal rear shifter. So this one comes with a standard bar clamp right here. And it also comes with an optical display to show the gear. There's also a barrel adjuster here for micro adjustments to tighten or loosen the cable on the fly while you're riding, or if necessary, or out if you're on the trails and you don't have any tools, you can tighten the cable by loosening this here or loosen the cable tension by screwing it inward. Now let's go ahead and take a look. You could push here. That's gear from 10 to nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Going from the large cassette or the easier gear to pedal, you could go ahead and push and release to go down, or you could actually push. So both ways, you could pull it back or push it. Whereas the opposite direction, you cannot pull back on this. You have to push to go to the other gears. Okay, shifting to an easier gear, you go one, two, three gears all at once, but coming down, you could only do one at a time. So again, going up, one, two, three, coming down, one at a time. On the bottom here, it does indicate that this is the SL-M4100 with the cable. This rear shifter is 141 grams. The housing is 61 grams. The length of this is approximately six feet or 1.85 meters long for this derailleur housing. And it does appear to be the proper derailleur housing. The length of the derailleur cable from the end here is approximately six feet, six inches or 1.98 meters. I think with the uh, entire length if you include a few centimeters or here should be exactly two meters long for the cable so i did get this version diore and not xtxtr because it does come with this optical gear display which i really enjoy for the recumbent and if you're on the recumbent here it's real hard to look back or if not almost impossible to see what gear i'm on in the back especially when i'm riding here so i have the optical display up here so i can go ahead and see what gear i am in the back so i know if i need to shift to the larger chain ring or down to the small one depending on what gear i am in the rear well i hope you enjoyed the video of this rear shifter let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below and thanks for watching and thanks to all the subscribers